so <laughs> okay so this is my new home biogas system um, it's a system where you can put all of your kitchen waste into or pet waste um, and it produces biogas that you can cook on and fertilizer for your garden so the way it works um, you bring my kitchen is right through those doors so it's very really close to the unit. I bring all my kitchen waste into here and put it into the sink. Um, the sink has a little plunger so you can push the, push the food down in uh, and it goes into a uh, digester tank at the bottom um, where there is anaerobic bacteria and the food waste, the, the anaerobic bacteria digests the food and creates methane. So let me show you how it works. Um, when you first get the system, uh, you fill this bottom tank with water and some type of bacterial starter. You can either use a bacterial starter kit that they provide or you could do what I did and just use horse manure because it's easy and accessible. Um, so I, I, I put about five five gallon buckets of horse manure in here and then and after I filled it with water and then I let it sit for about, mine took about a week and a half um, and it started producing gas. So when it starts producing gas, this is the gas tank, um, it comes deflated and uh, it, so you can tell when it, as soon as it starts to produce it'll start to inflate this bag. On top of the bag, it's hard to see but there are um, these sand bags that generate the pressure um, so that your end appliance has enough pressure <laughs> um, to, to make a nice consistent flame. So anyway, when you put your food scraps in, I live right on a busy street. When you put your food scraps in, they will go through the sink. Um, this is the input. It'll go into the digester tank, and then that's where all of the digestion takes place. As the bacteria um, decompose the food scraps, it produces a gas that comes up through this tube um, and this is a filter for the hydrogen sulfide which would otherwise have a slightly like rotten egg smell <laughs> so they take that out which is really nice and then the the biogas the clean biogas goes into the gas bag and it's full it's full right and um, this is about 65 percent methane 35 percent carbon dioxide depending on what you're feeding it um, which which creates a really nice beautiful flame to cook on and yes now you have you have a couple of these units right now right I do one is just strictly for uh, showing to taking to shows right. um, because once you fill this up you can't really transport yeah. it yeah, yeah. you'd have to empty it again but anyway so then the gas goes into here it goes out the yellow um, line this will never get too full um, once it once it uh, you know the bag fills up it will burp out any excess so you can leave it for extended periods of time um, and then also as you add the food waste into here this because this uh, bottom tank is always full as you add the food waste nutrient rich natural fertilizer liquid fertilizer comes out the other end and so that is amazing I've been using it on my plants um, you can see the results right and they say it makes uh, like 70% more productive plants. I don't know. So um, <laughs> how much food scrap are you putting in a day? I think I put in about a quart a day. You okay. can put up to six quarts a day. Um, but I, like I said, I have never run out of gas. Well, we can see. Yeah. Right? It's That's pretty full. full. Um, and I cook my tea and my eggs on it every morning. I have mine connected to these. Uh, this stove over here it's just outdoor it works beautifully um, and then I I really like the fact that I get the fertilizer because I am trying to grow a lot of a lot of my own now how much are these units going for right now these units cost $1,090 you can order them off of um, homebiogas.com uh, they're shipped from Israel so the company is based in Israel um, it's manufactured in Israel which some people like that because it's nice quality um, and the company really does a lot of humanitarian efforts which I like also they have systems they've donated to Syrian refugee camps and they put them in an underserved communities and it's really really nice so nice let's, let's show everybody what the output is then okay so um, like I said the gas is stored in this tank which is connected uh, to this tube 
Right now I've got it closed because I've been testing various appliances. This is just a little drainage outlet, um, which is sometimes condensation may form. I've never had anything come out of that. But so we, when we open this valve, uh, I can then go turn on the stove and light it up and you can see the beautiful flame it creates. And then this is where the, um, the fertilizer comes out. And then it, and really it's- And also the burping? Yeah, um, the burping, yes, it'll come, it, it goes out into the tank and then out this tube and then just into the air because gotcha. it's the gas. So um, anyway, so let's open this up. Open that up. Now this is a totally electric free system and this electricity right. here is just for a heater in case it, the water froze. Yes, good point. So it is February right now. Um, I've had to use this uh, aquarium heater just a couple of nights just to make sure this, the system doesn't freeze. The bacteria um, thrive in warmer temperatures. So this, uh, this cover really traps the heat from the sun. You're supposed to put it in a sunny area. This is the sunniest area I have. <laughs> and we can see it produced yeah. a lot of gas. It, right, a, it's, it's full. working fine. It's working beautifully. So it's not really it's not really full sun yet. It's working fantastic in this environment. Yes, and so. even in this cooler weather. Yeah. So, so you would expect this to actually do better in the summer? Yeah, absolutely. Wow. Yeah. I know. So I'm gonna have to start cooking more. <laughs> okay, so um, as I was mentioning earlier, this this is just a stove that I got off of, bio, of uh, Amazon. They do have biogas stoves, but they're very hard to come by in the U.S. So I, I think the best option is to order one while you're ordering the system because they'll ship them to you from there. Um, but if you don't have access to a biogas stove, um, these stoves can be modified. This is just a natural gas stove. It, there was previously a little orifice in there which regulates the pressure. Um, it's just a little it's like a little uh, nut that's got a little hole um, but because the only pressure of this system is those sandbags you don't need something that's like controlling the pressure so you just remove that orifice and it works beautifully um, this one however isn't ideal because it's got a thermocoupler which shuts off the gas if there's not enough heat on that thermocoupler so I when I light this one I have to hold I have to hold it down and make sure the flame stays for a couple of seconds to see if that's sufficient. Can you there, it up? That's sufficient. Fantastic. Yeah, so normally you wouldn't have to do that if it didn't have that thermocoupler. But then, but then look, it's beautiful. And you can, I mean, two hours a day is really sufficient for my needs, and I have two teenage boys. Um, so, because look, look what water takes. 10 minutes to boil maybe, and then my eggs are another four minutes, and then I've got all this leftover gas. Yeah, <laughs> so totally so. practical, it works. Yeah. This is an experimental, I mean, this setup right now is, is experimental, but mm -hmm. you've proven at this point that the system does work. Absolutely. And meets all of your needs as a homeowner. Exactly, yep, so. and I also have a lantern that I can hook it up to, like if I'm, if so that it doesn't release, um, I can hook up to, the, to a lantern and just have a nice little light glowing oh, at night. And fantastic. Yeah. It's all of your needs. Indeed. So between this system and solar power, you could totally live off-grid pretty much anywhere in the world. It's, it's a, you know, once you set it up, it's portable, but once you set it up, it's, it's going to stay there. But uh, uh, looking at the materials that it's made from, doesn't look that heavy. Right. So, no, and you can, like, if you wanted to spend a few months one place, a few months another place, you could always drain it. They do, there's, it's a easy to drain. Well, the system's cheap enough, you could leave it there. You could, too. But this, you just roll out this hose and you can uh, empty it into buckets and use it also as fertilizer and compost. And, All right. Yeah, pretty neat system. Well, I got to tell you, I might be interested in buying one Yay. <laughs> um, and then donating it. So, Excellent. Yeah, so Beautiful. We'll see uh, who we can get to set that up on their property and give it a real test, maybe with um, multiple people to see how uh, how much we can get out of it as, as an experiment. Excellent. Fantastic. Mm. Well, thank you for coming. Thank you, Tracy. All right.